So we'll go GT with orbit. So GT triple with orbit. So we, you know, we have a name for all of our orbit. Um, you know, so this would be orbit right. We're running GT left, and then the triple would be tagged with it. Again, it's the same terminology. I don't have it all drawn up here. Where our uh, our old line is responsible for C gap, C gap front side is double team into A spot, um, and then backside guard is our wham player, and then the backside tackle is our wrap player to B spot. Um, we are reading um, the first guy head up outside the tackle, and again, this is drawn out of a every person who loves running triple loves a four four look. So this is like the best way to to draw it too. Um, you get that defensive end, hopefully you squeeze it so you get a pull and get to the perimeter. We will also do it. And again, I have it some out of 10 personal, some out of 11, because we do do it both. Um, I like it out of 11 as well, because, you know, when we're in 11, that's when we can run power and all those um, downhill run plays. So running triple option out of 11 allows us to um, kind of break some tendencies, um, kind of keep some defense on their heels. So here's an example where we'd be going yo-yo to the left. Um, we're running GT left, and then we're running option off of that based on what the first guy, first, uh, first guy head up or outside our tackle does. And then with jet, yo, we do run a lot of jet read and jet. Um, I do like running jets to the boundary, and I really like running jet read to the boundary. Um, again, that's something I took from Coach Anise and some things that worked really well for us um, in my time playing as a player at Ferris. Um, so, you know, oftentimes teams will um, not, you know, they're a little bit looser to the boundary, so you can go cheat and get, you know, for me, four yards of the boundary is kind of like a steal play. So what that allows us to do, though, is that allows us to set up this motion where we'll act like we're running jet to the boundary We'll snap it as he's getting across, and then our, our slot kind of almost backpedals and flips his hips as quick as possible and turns it into orbit. And, and it's one of those things where it just takes a heck of a lot of timing and reps, and uh, you'll see it on film. It works pretty smooth for us. And then, obviously, as well, we can throw off of it with the bubble, where, again, we're running GT left. We'd have our triple option tagged with a bubble. We just have that diff a different signal when we're doing that. Um, and, again, first guy head up or outside the tackle was our read. And then we're throwing off it. And there's a couple of examples of that. We, and this is one of those things where this, we're building this as we go at West with our triple. Um, you know, we're far from perfect, but the installation of this was pretty easy. We didn't really think we we're going to be much of a triple option team. And then, of course, I do a one day camp with Coach Nice and Ferris, and they come to our campus. And he goes, Why are you not doing more of this? You guys are really, really good at it. And that was in July. So, um, you know, in July, we decided we we're going to run some triple. And then and camp started in August, and um, we kind of, started developing it from there and it was it was really good for us so we're, we were happy we went with that uh, decision and then we can do it with the h um now we don't use our true h in this instance we have what i call an s back a super back um it's a kid who's physical enough to still block and run power and run gt wham and duo wham and those things um but he's also athletic enough to get the ball on you know we can run uh, jet read with him from the h position or we can orbit him and run triple options still. So when the, it was number 39 for us this year, you'll see him when he's when, when we get to the film. Um, he, he's a dynamic athlete. He also played linebacker for us. He's physical as all heck. We still ran downhill runs with him in the game um, just to keep teams honest because we didn't want it to be a true tendency where when he was in, we were running triple. Um, but we also knew that we had to run downhill with him too because that we didn't want people to just know and sell out on uh, triple when he was in or some of the other fun things we did with him. Um, again, we already talked about duo teaching. I'm not going to go through that again, but duo triple when we get into that is the same idea as GT triple um, motion and tag are the same. It's the same tempo from the running back, the same tempo from the quarterback, same tempo from the motion. Um, and then the O line, here's a call as if it's a wham scenario. So again, like we're not, we're not reinventing the wheel. The only thing that changes is really for the quarterback and then whoever the pitch guy becomes our quarterback has to know that he's reading the end or whoever's head up or outside the tackle. And we're running to, into pitch relationship from there. Okay, so let's get right into the clips of this then. All right, so conveniently enough, this is our first snap of the season this year at West. We're playing against Eversburg, who is predominantly a powerhouse in the state of Michigan. Uh, they went to the semifinals this year, a couple of divisions bigger than us. So uh, we knew we were going to have to do this stuff to beat them, and we ended up winning by eight. So in this instant, we're in two by two. We're going slot orbit to the left. We're reading the first guy head up or outside the tackle, which we established is this guy here. He's one. And then pitch guy here is two. You can kind of see it develop. Again, we get a nice wham from our guard. Our quarterback here gives it. 
And it worked out for us because we score. Okay, so obviously not a bad read because he didn't tackle the dive key. However, I want you guys to all see how good of a play this would have been if you would have pulled it. It would probably been just the same result, a, a touchdown on the perimeter. We would have ran off it. We would have pitched off this guy here, and we would have been in space because we're one for one and we're off and running. Now, to, when I told – when the quarterback came back, I wasn't mad. I was like, hey, we scored a touchdown. Why would you give that? We teach our quarterbacks on all options. Give it till you can. This is our terminology for it. Because if you're an option, guys, you know it's hard to say, ah, you know, if he turns his shoulders, well, sometimes they don't turn their shoulders and they take away the give. Um, uh, and then sometimes their shoulders are turned with they're coming up feeling that should be a gift. So what I've done, and again, I'm taking it from the people I've, I've learned from at Ferris and then coached with along the way, we have found that the terminology of give it until you can't has worked out really well for us. And it's one of those things where it's, it's pretty point blank. Well, did you give it and you got tackled and you probably should have pulled it. If you pulled it and the DM makes a play on you, you bonehead, give it to the running back and run downhill. And so he, he, he thought that he could still give it and that guy wasn't going to make the play. And then we're up and through on GT. And then the end zone view is nice too. We got a wham, we got a wrap, and the ball follows next. So here again, same idea. Great read here. So we're going orbit motion to the right. GT left with the triple tag to it. Give it to you can't. The DN comes up field. And GT is my favorite play that exists in football for other than power. And it's a really good run play most of the time. Oh, crap. Sorry. So here's another example. Here's a good example of a poll. And I have this as our first poll because it shows really what we teach. So in this situation, it would be very, very easy. So we're again, let's, let's backtrack. We're in, we're in two by two. We're going orbit motion to the field. We're going GT to the left of the triple. Okay. Dive keys here, pitch keys here. He's walked down. And before the snap, I know our, our slot was screaming smoke because anytime we get a smoke call, it means that the pitch key has walked down and probably coming, which means we're going to be in a pull and pitch scenario. However, he backs off, which I think was coached by them to try to stretch this out, which is a really nice job by their coaches. We just execute it well. And we always teach you press and you press and you press to the outside shoulder of our pitch defender, which he does a nice job of. And you got to make that pitch defender commit and you keep stretching it until he commits. Because if you, what's back inside is this flow. So like, it would be very easy for him to say, oh, he's way out there. Let me stick my foot in the ground and go vertical. Well, here comes Mike linebacker to say hello and ear hole your quarterback. So for us, we always work uh, hashes to numbers the sideline, and he's stretching it until that guy makes him make a decision. If he were to have just gone straight out here to the slot, our quarterback is working to hash here, the number here, the sideline, and is working it until he either A, gets tackled, or B, runs out of space to do that. But this is a great textbook example of why you keep pushing the outside shoulder. He pushes the outside shoulder. Our perimeter blocking is awesome. And we're off and running, and we have a nice little seven, eight-yard game. The end zone view is kind of jacked up this week, but that's all right. Here we go. So, again, orbit. Now, here's an example of where we don't do the right thing. And that's all right. That's why, again, I'm not, I, I didn't come here to show you guys a highlight film. We're all here to learn. And I'm, we're all still learning as we go. So I'm trying to mess with this. Okay. So in this instance, okay, this is the safety. And our slot makes a bad, does a bad job here. So dive is right here. Pitch is right here. However, our slot gets confused because the safety was rolled down. And we go and block the wrong guy. And that's one of those things, too, where it just takes times and reps. And when we went over this in film the next morning, our guy was like, yeah, that was dumb with me. Like, I know better. But, again, um, only a few months into running triple, he should have been able to identify, oh, that's just a safety down. He should be to here. And then we're reading one, pitch off two. You know, that's the right read. Give it to you. Can't. Um, this team just does a really nice job of kind of stopping us at the point of attack there. 
know, they were big and physical. And they do a nice job. They squeeze, they, they make us log it. And then we were just kind of soft on the outside with our tackle. 